Okay, so we're continuing our introduction to trigonometry and now we're actually going to calculate some side lengths in right angle triangles. We're not going to do angles today, but we will calculate some side lengths. So if we have a triangle, like so, so we have an angle that we're given, uh, this one, let's say it's 40 degrees, we have a side that we want to find, so this can be uh, x, and then we have another side, so let's do sine, so this can be uh, 9 centimetres, right? So there's the setup, and from the start, we're going to do everything we've done so far. So firstly, label the sides, HOA ring ring, so H hypotenuse, longest side, opposite the right angle, it's here. O, opposite the angle in the question, that's the 40, the angle we're going to use. O is here, and A is the other one. Okay, HOA, now we do ring ring, so we ring the two sides that are involved. So the 9 is involved because it's a piece of information we're going to use, so H is involved. The X is involved because that's the side that we actually want to find. So the O is involved, so we've done the ring ring. Um, the A is not involved because we don't know the value of it. Remember, we're talking about sides here. We don't know the value of it, and we haven't been asked to find it, so not involved. Right, so HOA ring ring. Now we need to decide, are we on SO, CA, or TOA? SO, CA, or TOA. So which one of these, the last two letters, we, we're looking for an O and an H, so you can see these three words, the only one with an O and an H in is SO. SO means sin, so, and it actually means sine angle equals O over H. So that means that sine angle, the angle is 40, equals O, well O is X, over H, H is 9. So we've now formed an equation. So the next step is to actually solve the equation. So the first thing really, that there are other methods that if you have a decent calculator, yes there are solvers, but you really, really should be able to do this um, algebraically. So something like this, you need to get the x on its own, x is what we want, so we need to get rid of this 9, we're going to multiply both sides by 9, you're going to get the 9 up there. So you're going to say 9 sine 40 equals x. Right, so now we've got an expression to find x. Now, we go to our calculators. The first thing, you need to make sure you're in degree mode. So on here, I need to go shift and menu, and I need to look at the angle. I can see that says rad, so I am not in degree mode. So if I try and do this, I will not get an answer that looks sensible and it won't be correct. So I need to make sure that says deg for degrees. Now I can press exit, and now I can put this in. So 9 sine 40. You can put 9 times sine 40, but 9 sine 40 should be fine too. Could have put brackets, probably should have done. And that gives me 5.785. Remember, write the long number and do your rounding afterwards. So x equals 5.785088. And if you've not been told to do anything else, three significant figures. So find the third significant figure. One, two, three. Look next door. It's a five. Five will make the eight turn into a nine. 5.79 centimeters to three sig figs. And then you should probably look at it and say, well, does that make sense? It's not the best drawn in the world, but this is nine. You'd certainly know that's the longest side. So we would expect this to be shorter. I think that's probably reasonable. It looks sensible. If you've got an answer of, say, 0 0.4, you would know something got went wrong. If you've got an answer bigger than 9, you would know there is an issue. Right, let's have a look at one where we might need to divide. So another triangle. And we'll have, uh, we'll have this angle, which looks like, let's call it... Um, 52 degrees. Okay, so we have this size, 10 centimeters, and this is what we want to find, x. Okay, um, also we have a right angle. It doesn't work if you don't have a right angle. Okay, so you look at that, the question would say find the side marked x, and then we start in the same way, label, HOA, 
longest sides opposite the right angle H opposite the angle in the question of 52 that's the O and A is the other one done the H O A now we need to do the ring ring so we need to decide which two sides are involved as in which two sides have stuff on them so the 10 is a side it's a it's a piece of information we're going to use we're going to use it it's involved the O is involved the X is something I want to find so that's definitely involved too so the A is involved now we need to go back to our Sokatoa and we're looking for which one of these has the A and the O or the O and the A in and you can see it's Toa uh, Toa means tan and tan means tan angle equals O over A so tan angle, the angle is 52 equals O 10 over A which is X Okay, so this is more complicated, and this is when, if you're really, really stuck, you can use a solver, but I'm not going to show you that today. So I want to make X the subject. Generally, if you've got the thing that you want to be the subject in the denominator, your first step, if possible, is to get that out of the denominator. So I'm going to get this X up here. I'm going to multiply both sides by X. So that would say X times 1052, or X 1052 equals 10. And now I've got x being multiplied by 1052. I want the x on its own. I'm going to divide by 1052. So x equals 10 divided by or over 1052. So now I go to my calculator and I press uh, 10 over 1052. I'm going to put a bracket in this time. Should do. It's good practice. I'm going to put a bracket in that tells me that x is 7.8128825 uh, three significant figures find the third significant figure they're all significant so one two three look next door it's a two a two will not make a one round up so our answer is 7.81 7.81 cm to three significant figures. So that's how you find lengths. Um, get your triangle. HOA, ring, ring. Decide sock out or toa. Form the equation. Make the unknown length the subject, or the x in this case, but it won't always be an x. And then go to your calculator. Make sure you're in degree mode. Type the calculation in and don't forget to round to three significant figures, but do write the long number first. Because then if you get your rounding wrong, you're not going to lose all the marks. You might not even lose any marks, depending on the mark scheme.